Greetings to everyone out there and welcome back to Around the Clock. Alright everyone, there is a really big and possibly true September 2021 Nintendo Direct rumor that we definitely have to go over. Now all of this information comes directly from Samus Hunter on Twitter and previously on this channel we've talked about different leaks and rumors that Samus Hunter has brought forth and yes they have come true. So this is something that we definitely have to pay attention to. With all that being said, there is plenty of information to go over here, so without wasting any more of your time, let's get right into it. As you can see here, after teasing this in a couple of posts, I'm going to talk about it more clearly. Yes, there is a Nintendo Direct scheduled for September, around the same time WarioWare launches. It is useless to make a list of games passing them off as certain because, in fact, I still have nothing in hand, it's too early. But crossing some data, I can tell you things that I see very likely. Surely, the focus game will be Metroid Dread, while Advance Wars and Mario Party will have sections dedicated to some new features. There are also several major updates planned, the aforementioned Animal Crossing, the reveal of the latest character in Smash, and the DLC with the new story of Hyrule Warriors. Third parties will also play an important role, Capcom has to reveal a Resident Evil for the Switch. If plans for Splatoon 3 don't change, marketing for the title should begin around that time. I doubt any news about the Zelda Breath of the Wild sequel other than a small notice that we'll see it in a few months. As new announcements, a Kirby project is very likely. To close, a title developed by Nintendo. Monolith Soft are at a very good point with their project, since a few months have finalized the cutscenes and in recent weeks have worked on much of the music, so the project is entering the final stages. Bayonetta 3, which I've already mentioned, should also be in a similar situation. There are other titles well underway as well, but those are planned at a generic 2022 Direct or later. I repeat, at the moment, the new announcements are my guess from some of the data in my possession. It is too early at the moment to pass them as confirmed for that presentation. In closing, however, I can tell you that Nintendo is also working on the next Indie World scheduled before that. I forgot to mention, I heard rumors on some news site about a Microsoft collaboration or something. If something really happened, this would be the best occasion. So they will have it. Now, this is a lot of information and as Simmons Hunter stated here, they are not 100% sure if all of these announcements will be at this September Direct. They're going off of all of the information that they have so far and they're stating that it would make sense for Nintendo to present this at the September Direct. Now, as far as a Direct happening in September, yes, I do feel like this is going to happen. Nintendo has done this many times in the past and they always host a Fall Direct. And within these Fall Directs, Nintendo always talks about the games that they have planned for the end of that year as well as the year to come. So it will make sense to have a Fall Direct for September to go more in depth on titles such as Metroid Dread, Advance Wars, that brand new Mario Party game, a Smash character, Animal Crossing, as well as the new DLC story for Hyrule Warriors. Of course, 2022 titles will be at this Direct as well, you know things such as the brand new Mario plus Rabbids game will be at this Direct, as well as titles such as Splatoon 3 and others. Now we do know that new games will be at this Direct because Nintendo always showcases a handful of new games at the Directs. I don't believe that we'll see anything from the Pokemon company because Pokemon usually does their own thing, they host their own Direct, so I don't believe that we'll see anything from the Pokemon company other than a generic trailer or something like this, but of course we do have to wait and see. Samus Hunter also mentioned a Indie World presentation that is planned before this Nintendo Direct and I think this is going to happen as well because we've seen this in the past with all the Directs. Nintendo usually hosts a Indie World and or a Pokemon presentation before the Direct so this isn't surprising. All in all, this is a rumor but Samus Hunter is a reliable source and we just have to see what happens in September. Alright everyone. That's going to do it for this video. What are your thoughts on everything else discussed here? Please let me know down in the comment section. And don't forget to like this video, share this video, and subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. Plus, if you want to support this channel financially, become a member by hitting that join button right below this video. The cost is only 99 cents per month and perks are included. Thank you all for watching this video and I'll catch you guys in the next one.